Sound engineer John A. Bonner worked on groundbreaking films like The Poseidon Adventure and The Towering Inferno. He also served as an academy governor representing the sound branch, and he was a chair of the SciTech committee. His volunteer work and dedication to the academy spanned more than 30 years, and in 1994, he was awarded an Academy Medal of Commendation for his years of service. His devotion was so impactful that after his death, two years later, the very medal he won was renamed for him. And tonight, Shirley Bonner, John's wife, is here with us. Yes. Where is she? Those who have been honored with the medal are part of an esteemed group carefully chosen for their dedication. Some of that group have joined us tonight for our celebration. If you could please stand. Tonight, we hand the John A. Bonner Award to a man whose core beliefs are the very definition of this honor, the pursuit of upholding high standards in the science of motion pictures, Curtis Clark. Wow, wow, wow. To Curtis Clark, the Academy is proud to present the John A. Bonner Award. This is a little bit overwhelming, I have to admit. I'm used to doing things that bestow recognition on the colleagues that I work with. So to be the recipient of this is really quite remarkable. And also, but I want to start by thanking, obviously, the Academy SciTech Awards Committee and the Academy Board of Governors for this absolutely tremendous honor. I first experienced the seductive power of cinema as a young boy in a downtown Nacogdoches, Texas theater where my grandmother took me to an afternoon matinee of high noon. I was so transfixed with a sense of wonder that I pleaded with my grandmother to let me see it again at the next showing, which she did do. The film had effectively created a world where I became immersed in an emotionally charged atmosphere. For me, the attraction of cinematography has always been the aesthetic role that it plays in sharing narrative storytelling through compelling images that instill the viewer with a sense of wonder. It was many years later at the London Film School that I felt compelled to understand the technical foundation of the motion picture image to better explore the artistic possibilities. At that time, motion pictures were an, an exclusively film-based system. When digital cinema started to emerge as a reality, the American Society of Cinematographers asked me to form a technology committee, later renamed Motion Imaging Technology Council, to assess these new digital imaging technologies with a view to influence their development in ways that best serve the creative work of cinematography and the filmmaking process. January 2019 marked the 100th anniversary of the ASC and the 16th anniversary of our Technology Council. During the past 16 years, we have achieved significant success and forged a formidable reputation as an important forum that focuses on the ways that digital imaging technologies impact our traditional cinematographic art form and how they can best serve filmmakers' creative intent. I would also like to thank those dedicated individuals who have consistently contributed their considerable talents and the work of our ASA Technology Council. I'd also like to thank my wife, Margie, 
who has been remarkable in the last 36 years of our married life in supporting my wacky, crazy notions of what I think is important and in, in impacting our family life in certain instances. And of course, my son Jonathan and his wife Emily, who are here with me tonight. Thank you very much. Thank you.